Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is UNICEF report on obesity. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. A recent UNICEF report highlights the alarming surge in obesity among children and adolescents globally, with India set to account for 11% of the global obesity burden by 2030. According to the report, India's childhood obesity rates are rapidly rising, with the number of overweight children below 5, doubling between 2006 and 2021. Now let's discuss about key highlights of the UNICEF report Global Shift in Nutrition The UNICEF Child Nutrition Global Report 2025 points out that for the first time, obesity has surpassed underweight as the most common form of malnutrition among school-aged children and adolescents. Around 188 million children globally are living with obesity today. India's Future Obesity Crisis UNICEF predicts that by 2030, India will have over 27 million children and adolescents aged 5 to 19 living with obesity, accounting for 11% of the global obesity burden. The surge in ultra-processed food consumption, the consumption of ultra-processed foods in India has surged dramatically from 900 million US dollars in 2006 to 37.9 billion US dollars in 2019. This surge is driving up the rates of obesity, especially among children and adolescents, food environments, and ultra-processed foods. The report underscores the role of food environments that promote unhealthy food choices. Ultra-processed foods loaded with unhealthy fats, sugars, and salts have replaced traditional diets, contributing to obesity. Now let's talk about what is obesity. Obesity is defined by the World Health Organization as an abnormal or excessive accumulation of fat that poses health risks. Obesity is measured using the Body Mass Index, BMI, with individuals having a BMI above 30 classified as obese. Now let's discuss about government initiatives to tackle obesity. Fit India Movement A nationwide campaign promoting physical activity and sports to combat obesity and encourage healthier lifestyles. Eat Right India campaign Led by FSSAI, this initiative promotes safe, healthy and sustainable food choices, particularly for children. Poshan Abhiyan, a government scheme aimed at improving the nutritional outcomes of children, adolescent girls, and women with Mission Poshan. 2.0 to focus on diet diversity, food fortification, and promoting the use of millets. PM Poshan Scheme The union government has directed states to reduce cooking oil usage by 10% in the midday meal program to tackle rising obesity rates among school children. Now lastly, moving on to what needs to be done. UNICEF's recommendations implement strict marketing regulations for ultra-processed foods, improve the affordability and accessibility of nutritious foods, strengthen public policies to protect children from harmful food environments, increase awareness and support social behavior, changes at the family and community levels. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about UNICEF, Child Nutrition, Global Report 2025. 1. The report highlights that obesity has surpassed underweight as the most common form of malnutrition among school-aged children globally. 2. It suggests that countries should completely ban all marketing of food products to children under the age of 10. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one 
ignore too send the answer of this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications